We are going to compare and order rational numbers. If fractions have like numerators, as the denominator gets bigger, the fraction gets smaller. If they have like denominators, the bigger the numerator, the bigger the fraction. Or you can cross multiply and compare. All right, we are going to compare these two. I'm going to cross multiply, this is 20. Cross multiply, this is 14. So that means that 4 sevenths is greater than 2 fifths. Number two says, order one third, five eighths, and four ninths from greatest to least. I'm gonna make sure that they have a common denominator. So eight times nine is 72, and I think three goes into 72. Twenty-four, so we have one third, oops, one third times 24, times 24, that would be 24.72, 5 eighths, be times 9, times 9, that would be 45 over 72, and then we have 4 ninths, which is times 8, times 8, and that would be 32 over 72. So my greatest is 5 eighths, then 4 ninths, and then 1 third. All right, if I am comparing decimals and percent. So they have to be in the same form for you to compare them. So if I'm comparing just decimals, if I'm comparing just percents, you're going to line them up according to place value. And you're going to compare the numbers in each place value starting with the largest place value. So if we are doing number one, we would line them up. You can put a placeholder of zero. So 1.65, because six is greater than three, is greater than 1.4345. Uh, it's a little prettier. All right, number two, order 2.67, 0 0.53, and 2.54 from least to greatest. I'm gonna line them up. So I'm gonna start with the largest place value. So the two point some things are greater. So my least is 0 0.53. And cross that one out. And we're going to compare these. Six is greater than five. So if we're doing least to greatest, that'd be 2.54 and then 2.67. All right, if we're comparing 45% and 45%. 0.65. We can put a placeholder here. Compare these. These are equal. These are equal. The 0.6 is greater, so 45.65 is greater than 45%.
let's add those percent signs. All right, order 67%, 34.08%, and 34.56 from greatest to least. So 67, 34.08, and 34.56. 67 is obviously greater than the 30s, so that's my first one, 67%. And then we both have 34, and then 5 is greater than 0, so we would do 34.56% next, and then 34.08% last. All right, if you are comparing all three, you convert them into the same form and then you compare or order the numbers. So I'm going to put these both as a decimal. So I have 0 0.034 and then 0 0.0265. Comparing these, these, the three is greater than the two, so 0 0.034 is greater than 2.65%. All right. Number two, we are going to order one third at 0 0.54 and 34% from least to greatest. I'm going to change these all to a decimal. My division brain's not working today. So 0 0.3 repeating, 0 0.54, and 0 0.34. So if I compare these, from least to greatest, let's put placeholder here. So these are the same, the threes are less than and the zero is less than four. So one third is first, then 34%, and then 0 0.54. All right, order these from greatest to least. I'm going to put them all in decimal form. So this is 0 0.78, 1.56, and then this one. is 0 0.625 so comparing these greatest is 1.56 then 78 percent and then 5 eighths All right, we're going to compare these two. Let's change these into fra fractions with a common denominator. So I have 11 over 20 and 55 over 100 because percents are over 100. To get to 100, we multiply this by 5. So this is 55. So these are actually equal. So 11 20ths is equal to 55 percent. 